Hello, my name is Draconic Rose and welcome to a brand new series on the channel, a game whose name I think is Wild True Do Learn. It is a game about uh, machine learning and uh, learning how to train program algorithms that uh, will allow the system to learn. I think it's better explained by starting a new game. Uh, as usual, I have played the round to get familiar with it, but we will delete those and start a new game. Nicknamed Iconic Rose, of course. Hello friend, this is a tycoon game that will give you the opportunity to take the role of machine learning specialist and develop from a rookie to a professional. I think the um, developers of this game are not uh, English speaking as a primary language, but it's okay, they do enough of a good job explaining things. So we will get started. So what they have is emails, which is where we look at our tasks, the store, which allows us to buy hardware and cat skins and stuff like that, of course the menu, and we will be able to take stock in some startups. But we will accept uh, our task number three, which is after the tutorial. And this one is pretty simple. Do we have to use... No, we only have the base notes. Chill. I think this will do, like, we need the red, so decision tree, if red, go there, I mean there, if it's not red, try that, let's do a test run, and increase the speed, okay, so greens are going into there, which we don't want it to, so we better to another decision tree. Uh, if blue, trash it already. If red goes there. If green goes to the trash can. Let's do another test run. See how that goes. So greens are going up, no reds are going down here, which is what we want. There we go. A complete and good test run will we'll accept and go. And the game pretty much works this way. You get some notes, which you then use in a programmatic way to complete the objectives. You need to find all the triangle figures. Same deal, except we get a new node called the sift. The SIFT scale invariant feature transforms one of the most powerful non-neural image recognition algorithm. It can compare uh, blocks and recognize simple images. So what we want here is pretty much the same thing as our colors, uh, but since this one is actually much more accurate, and excuse me if you can hear my cat in the background, we can pretty much just say if triangles go there, if not, trash them. So there we go. Soon. Eventually. There we go, complete the test run. Okay. And we can release. Unfortunately. You do have to wait for it to end. Really wish it had a faster speed. Guess I could send that as feedback. So this is the money we've spent. And it's doing... there we go. Next project. Alphabet recognition system. Okay. Now we have get to use something that is actually now getting into neural networking, which is the Perceptron, which is a machine neuron, and I really encourage you to read and learn more about that. Now, the problem with the Perceptron is that, as you can see, it has an error rate of 75. So what can we do? Well, we can train the Perceptron so that it learns to recognize things with much less 
uh, error rate. So as you can see, as it goes, the error rate starts going down, even though uh, some things are going wrong. And now it's much lower. We saw a ball going in there, there's another one, and a square going up there. But eventually, with some training, we can get it to an error rate of 20%, and that's as good as it's gonna get, so I'm just going to release it. And again, we have to watch it do its thing, which really, um, there should be a, a way to skip this, or at least make it run much faster. But there we go, the complete run, success, we can move on to the next project. Recognizing text, well, same deal, right? Uh, except now we want balls and triangles or squares and triangles. Hmm, so basically if, if it's not a square, we basically want it to go up, but we can only use the perceptrons. So we are going to do this. And 30, 18, maybe that? Let's see then. See how it can go. Because I, I believe the shape matters, so maybe it would have been easier to send the triangles down. There we go, it's at an error rate of that. Test run failed, you ran out of time and you have low accuracy. Well, let's see if we can't speed it up by sending the triangles down. Let's try again. Uh, probably not though. How's the accuracy here? Yeah, it's pretty good, yeah. And also pretty good here. So I think I was right, yes, yes I was. Because triangles are more similar to squares than circles. It's easier and more accurate to send them both down. So we will release that. And... Yay. So that accuracy go down? That's okay. I mean, I guess I could make it uh, more accurate, but... But, but, but. It wouldn't be as fast. So it, there's always a little uh, trade-off you have to do. So they already bought Christmas trees. You can calculate the peak demand. Hmm. Like a series of machine learning. A book called Perceptrons, they talk about the math constraints of the first perceptrons, the Zor problem. So the perceptron cannot model uh, an exclusive or logical uh, table. This book has sifted the scientific interest in subsidies of the government organizations and so the machine learning for almost 30 years. The expanded version of the book was released in 1987, containing the chapters that disprove the statements from the critical remarks made since 1969. Again, if this interests you, please go read more. Even Wikipedia can explain this better than I can. So we are back to decision trees. And it wants us... Huh. To send greens. Huh. That's interesting. So basically, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I see. I see what they want. So they want all greens here. Anything else going there? What do we have in our custom nodes? Nothing, because our machine learning has been set back. Okay, so we get decision trees. And for those deci decision trees, we're going to want two of them. And we're going to say, if it's green, 
if it's blue. Hmm. Thing is, I, I want to separate all greens. I want to really sift the greens out. Let's see what this does. So green, and that is wrong. I want that to go there, and that to go there. Let's see how that one goes. So we're getting greens there, we got a blue. Okay, so you're only getting blues here. Therefore, we need to do blues. Going there. Let's test run it. Okay. So pretty much all reds and blues are going where they should. And all the greens, or at least enough greens, went to where they had to go. So we will send. There you go, 100% accurate. Next project. Parallel calculations. Hello, we write to you from the Science Center. Our current programs run very slowly. Can you parallelize our calculations? Ooh. So we get servers. Let's see. This block routes elements in the socket with the less overload. Huh. Load balancer is a device that distributes network or application traffic across a cluster of servers. Load balancing improves responsiveness and increases the availability of applications. So basically, it just wants us to divide things equally. Yep. There we go. So let's see how we will be using these. Large parallel calculations. Hey, our parallelization system broke after the last Doors OS upgrade. Haha, <laughs> Doors. Can you fix it? It's a very big system. Be careful. Okay, so basically... We are probably going to do this. Right? Because they're basically telling us this is what will happen. Let's test run it. 18 each. Bam, bam, bam. Amazing. This almost makes me feel smart. There we go. Next project. Best dictator in the world at cat.meow. Greetings, this is the only state provider of a small country. We have a very suboptimal code to track our people activities. Unfortunately, we cannot allow you to change the code, but we have several new servers purchased on sale. Parallel the calculations, this will help our tyranny to prosper. Uh, not sure if this is the kind of job like any programmer would want to take. Really? So, huh. Interesting, so they they give us an expert system. Uh, a NIF. And then give us an else and a trash can. They give us a server. I wonder if what they want is this. Right? A server Send half to one, half to the other. And then these. I'm going to put the trash can over here. Say if it's red, go there on both. If it's not, trash it, right? Let's see what that does. Yeah, yeah. Ah, yikes. Okay, so basically, yes, but yeah, the whole load balancing thing. So let's put the trash can there. 
and let's add two more to sand. Let's put them closer, and we are going to. I wonder if we can. Yeah, we can Control C. Uh, I did. Uh, I selected it, then did Control C and Control V. And basically, this copies everything, including the connections, which is great. So let's see if this is what. Ah, no. Please do not move like that. Uh, do I have too many? Yes. Yes, I do. Okay. Yeah, that that should do it. Yeah. Nerf I'll run out of time. Oh dear. Yeah, still looks like you ran out of time and got low accuracy because I ran out of time. So I think I'm going the right way in Oh. Four parallel, two parallel. Hmm. So that could replace this. Right? Four way parallel and then a two way parallel. No. So we, we have to get this faster. So we'll use a two parallel and then use a four parallel because we are basically going to make it so. Another one. So that should. Oh god, this is gonna get cluttered real fast. And copy. And paste. And paste another one. My very, very cluttered. Okay. That should be it. Let's test run it. Yeah, that two parallel is getting a little... Mm. Well, the loads are better balanced. And the test run was su successful. Oh boy, if things get more complex than this, it's either going to get very, very cluttered, very, very fast, or we are going to have to get smarter. Anyway, if you have any tips for that, please leave them down in the comments. That'll be it for this episode. Subscribe for more while to do learn. And check out my Patreon if you'd like the continued existence of this channel. Until next time, bye! Thank you so much to my patrons for making this channel possible. Click the Patreon logo to become one of these fine folk. And if you enjoyed the video, here are some more YouTube things you would like. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Have a lovely day, and I'll see you next time.